Hello and welcome to Matt's ICT Lab. This is the second part of the PowerPoint video and today we'll be looking at uh, text styles or setting up text styles using the master slide. So this is where we left off last time. We've set up our master slide. We've got our presentation here and what we're going to do is we're going to set up text styles so that we have different text styles throughout the entire presentation. That includes uh, title, subtitle, and bulleted list. Okay, so let's start. So we'll go to view, we'll go back into our master slide. We go up to our primary master slide, and we, this is where we set them up. Now, I'm just going to rearrange this one. And so that when we go back to our normal view, it's not all over the place. Right, back to our primary master slide. I've put the question here. So, set the following styles of text throughout the entire presentation. The heading should be dark blue, serif, left aligned, and 40 point uh, in size. And the subheading and bulleted list have their own requirements as well. Let's go back here. Now, what we have to do is we have to identify where, where the heading is, where the subheading is, and where the bulleted list is, which is fairly obvious here. So we've got heading, which is this one here, and only this one. Now, subheading is on the second slide and is called subtitle here, so it's this one here and bulleted list is here and we'll deal with bulleted list in a minute now just to make this very clear we do not type anything in here we don't delete any of these we all we do is we set the text style by highlighting it and in, in setting our, our our fonts our fonts from there okay now i'll just go over again what is what okay so heading is on the primary master slide, this one here, that's the heading. Subheading is on the second slide, and it's here. And finally, bulleted list, oops, let me do that. Bulleted list is on the primary master slide again, and this is the bulleted list. Now, Let's do the heading first of all. So the heading is supposed to be dark blue, serif, left aligned, and for size 40. So all we do is we highlight it, make it dark blue, make it left aligned, which it is. Serif, was it serif? Uh, serif. So serif is Times New Roman, as we know already from the previous video, Times New Roman. And size... 40 and that's it set up that's you set up your heading your font style of heading right subheading second slide on the second slide here at the side and this is it here okay so subheading is to be blue sans serif center lined and size 30 so blue Sans serif, which is Arial. Center lined, which is already, and size 30. And that's your subtitle, your subheading or your subtitle setup. Okay. Back to the first slide for bulleted list. Now, your bulleted list is here. A few things you should know about the bulleted list. Sometimes it'll say just bulleted list. If it just says bulleted list, then you just set up the first level of your bulleted list. Okay. Sometimes it'll say second uh, bulleted list and second level bulleted list. If it says that, then you set up your bulleted list of what it asks for, and then your second level bulleted list, what it asks for. So this will be your bulleted list, and this will be your second level bulleted list. 
Okay, so you set them up the way it asks you to. Uh, again, don't delete, don't type anything at all. Just change the font style. Okay, right, so bulleted list should be black, sans serif, left aligned, size 24. So black it is already. Uh, I've forgotten already. Sans serif. So sans serif, we are using Arial, so we'll just stick with that. Size 24. There we go. Now, it's only asked us to set up the bulleted list or first level bulleted list. This one here. This one here. So that's all we've done. Okay? The only time you would change the other ones is either if it asks you to by saying second level bulleted list and gives you another set of of uh, of styles or fonts if you like um, font styles uh, so that's the first time you change it the second time you change it is if this here the second level was the same size or larger than the first level now it's the same size so we have to change it now basically they have to be going uh, getting smaller and smaller as they go down okay so once you've set up your your bulleted list make sure they go smaller and smaller on the way down and if they do they're fine if they don't change them so they are so this one uh, the first level bulleted list is size 24 we can see up here and we set it up second level bulleted list is also size 24 so that's no good we'll need to change this and make it smaller than the number above it we'll make it 22 go down in twos Okay, so we made that 22, and we go down here, this one's 20, so 24, 22, 20 we can see there, 18, and 5th level is also 18. These are both 18, so that's no good, we'll need to change this to 6, oops, not them all, change this to 16. Okay, so, let's just review our bulleted list. We have set it up for uh, with the style it's asked us to. Okay. Yep, we have. And also, are the, all the other ones are getting smaller and smaller on the way down. And we can see that as we click on them. That's your text style set up. So what we're going to do is we close our master view, or go back to our normal view. And what we can see is that they haven't applied here. That's not what we set up. So what we need to do is we need to apply these changes. Now this is very important if you don't apply your changes and then you print your work because there will be no proof that you've set them up. So we click on one slide, we press Control A and highlight all the slides in the, in the slides pane here. Right click on one and then we need to do Reset Slide. If you reset the slide, that applies all the changes. Keep an eye on the, the pane down the side here and the slide we've got open and reset slide. There we go. And it's now applied our changes that we've made there. Now here we can see an example of our bulleted list. We can see that a, we've got a first level bulleted list and we've got a second level bulleted list. So the, the, the second level bulleted list is obviously smaller because that's the way that we're asked to, or that we should set up. Okay, that's how to set up style, text styles in uh, the PowerPoint master slide. So a quick re review, go back to the slide master view, up to the first slide again. So a quick review, uh, most important thing to remember is to identify each of these. Okay, the heading, the subheading, and the bulleted list. So the heading is this. Okay. Subheading is here. And your bulleted list, bulleted list is here. And remember, if it asks, if it just says bulleted list, you just change the first level bulleted list. If it says first level and second level, you change the first level and the second level to the different styles that it'll ask. Okay? The only time you would change all the rest is to make sure that they're getting smaller and smaller as they go down. Okay? 
That's textiles, usually worth quite a few marks in exams, so it's always important to remember to show that you've done it by highlighting all the slides, right clicking and pressing reset slide to apply your changes. Okay, let's just have a look at our there we go, there's a subtitle there as well, the way we set it up. Excellent. Okay. If you have any questions, please make sure to ask or message in the comments section. And I hope you find this useful. Thank you.